Hello, I'm Joe Torres. I'm Sandra Bookman. That victim from Queens was attacked while working at a hotel in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Police say the suspect was belligerent when he walked into the lobby and started an argument. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal joins us from Astoria with the story. Naveen? Now, Joe, this victim is a hardworking man, an Indian immigrant, just trying to provide for his family. And now this attack has left him in absolute fear. My hope is for the better life. Sumit Alawalia is from the religious Sikh faith, and he came to this country from India with his young family just three years ago. Obviously, America is the best country for everyone to dream for. A mechanical engineer by trade, he's now the operational manager at this Quality Inn in Brownsville, working hard as he does every day. Then came this past Monday morning when police say this man walked into the lobby loud on the phone, and when the front desk asked him if he needed help, things went south. He got mad. Through the front desk window, he spit on us three times. One, two, three. That man walked out, and Sumit walked out as well and called security. When he saw me, he started running towards me. He put his hand in the pocket. I thought he's pulling out the gun. I got feared. Now, let's meet on the inside. And surveillance video shows what happened inside. I said, hey, brother, what happened? You're not my brother. You're not the same skin. He pulled out the hammer, bang on my head. I don't like you. That one violent hit left Sumit with a badly bruised head for days. A big bump on him head with a lot of pain. Thankfully, he was wearing his religious turban, but the attack, though not being called a hate crime, now causing an uproar in the South Asian community and local activists like Japneet Singh rallying for inclusion and better understanding for the Sikh religion. This represents is more than just a nice color and style. This represents pride. This represents hope. This represents peace. This is not the first time we have seen this. As my brother Japneet mentioned, after 9-11, this is one of the most highly targeted communities. As far as Sumit, it's back to work, but it's not the same. Since last four days I go there, I feel like, oh, somebody coming from the back and going to bang on my head. Like, it's, I have a fear in my mind from that day. Yeah, it is just so unfortunate that this has happened. Now, police are not calling again. This is not being called a hate crime at this time. And right now, it is under full investigation. No arrests at this time.